What's up brick builders? Today's build is Zorch. Set number 41502. Year it came out was 2014. Age group 7 plus. Number of parts 45. That's quite low for a, a, a mixel. Uh, price per piece is 7 pence. And cost brand new in 2014 was 2.99. Value currently now if you had a good condition mint sealed foil pack you're looking at 12 pounds used you're looking six to nine pounds not a great investment hello folks sean from britain bricks again We've got another mix or build for you this is the last of the series one i believe we had volk we had flane and now we got zorch we'll be doing also the max i can't i have no idea what it's called Give it, give, yeah. Drop a drop a thingy in the comments to let me know what you th uh, what it is what the max is called, um, where you combine all three of them together, or if you've got a name and you want to call it that, and I'll put it on the screen for you when we do the the build for it. I'll do that and I'll put a mention for you as well. So drop a comment, let me know what you think it should be called, or let me know what it actually is called by the way the mixel cartoons are funny they are funny they're short so if you've only got like a couple of minutes you know you're waiting for something and you just quickly get your mixel video out brilliant absolutely brilliant and they're kind of comical yeah they are kind of comical i got addicted i got into it and i know i i, I think i watched them all um in one scene they are that short but they're so cool anyway this is part of the James York Challenge, so check out this link here for the James York Challenge playlist. Um, that will have all of James's Lego that we've done so far. And also, check out the link at the, at the end of the video, or I could drop a, drop a link in the, in the comments as well, for the Mixel playlist. So yeah, check that out. Let's get cracking, shall we? Let's check this one out. Last one. All right, so red parts, obviously. Got some flame em element. <laughs> oh dear, flame, flame elements. <laughs> flame elements. Uh, we got some printed eyeballs, and I think that's it for the printed parts. Um, we got the angled pieces again. We got the hinges. Those are kind of cool. We've had those before. The three, t uh, the three prong tooth element. These are fairly new. These are fairly new. These are two by two, uh, one by two by two. I think that's too high. Um, let's have a look. Is that too high or three high? That's too high. Yeah. So it's a it's a one by two by two high sloped brick. It's kind of like a orange peel texture. Let's see if I can get that on the camera. There you go. Uh, it's kind of an orange peel texture. It's not smooth like that. It is kind of orange peel. Um, two inverted one by twos. Uh, we got some. Um, we got some uh, jumper plates. We do have the handlebar. Now this is a handlebar that you usually see on jet skis, quad bikes, those kind of things in Lego City and stuff like that. So it's the first time we've seen that. Um, and I think all the rest of it is usual suspects, to be honest with you. Let's crack on. Let's get the instructions up for you. Let's do that. Instructions. There we go. Right. So starting off, let's part the part the C's. And starting off with the uh, two by two plate, and then you get these one by two uh, plates with the ball sockets, and they're going to go in either side. This is kind of standard for mixel builds. And then you've got the one by two plate going across the front here. So we're going to designate that the front. And then we've got this one by two brick going across the back. The brick has studs on the back end. So we're going to have the studs on the back side there. And then we've got the hinges. These like the arms, I think. So we're going to take the hinge and you're going to have the bulge facing towards you so that it opens out towards you type thing. Not away from you. And you're gonna have the bulge towards you. 
then we're going to put the one by one plate with a clip and that's going to go on the left side of the hinge like so and then we've got the curved plate is going to go over the top of that like so and that would be our first one so we're going to do two of those so again the bobble facing towards you this time we're putting the clip plate on this side so we're going to put that on the right hand side this time and then the curved plate again over the top like so and then you're going to attach the right one on the right hand side left on the left hand side they're kind of his arms and then we've got um, the one by two plate with the four studs going down the side that's going to be on the front so that's going to be his chest and then we go put another one by two plate on the back here like so and then we've got another one of these plates but the other way around so it's turned up with four studs so now you've got eight studs going across the front like that and it should be smooth on the, on the inside next we've got the angled piece so that is going to go into the middle like so and then we've got the two by four going straight across that so it's kind of given a little bit of a shape underneath more than anything else that's what it's doing it's giving a bit of a shape it's lifting up the plates it's giving it a little bit of definition so we're going to put a one by four plate across the front of that two by four so there's a red one by four plate going across the front and again we've got another one by two plate going across the back put that in the middle now you should have these two studs here that are just remaining in the dark red. You're going to put dark red one by one cheese wedges on each side and they're going to be sloping to the left and the right. So left hand side slopes away to the left, right hand side slopes away to the right. So left hand side there and you should have something like that. And next we're going to put uh, the four, uh, the three jumpers. So there's going to be a jumper plate in the middle. You can see the two studs there. So we're going to put that in the middle first. Makes a nice red band across there. And then we're going to put the other two. They're going to be side by side. And you've got two studs left for the other jumper plate. So you should have three jumper plates. On the rear jumper plate, on its own, we're going to put the one by one plate with clip on the back end and you're going to have the clip so that it, it's kind of open to the left and the right because you're going to be dropping the handlebar down on that clip and the handlebar has got to go across it's not got to go like that so you see it's, it's across and next is the eyeballs cool cool all right so you just put the eyeballs into the jumper plates just have many any which way you like because that always adds a bit of character kind of shows which way they're looking he's kind of looking up and to the side okay give him can we make him cross-eyed i think we can make him cross eyed <laughs> You can have an awful lot of fun with this. You can have an awful lot of fun. There you go. It looks kind of like a lobster. And then we got his teeth. So uh, the one by eight two uh, teeth element with the three prongs. It's going to go on the top of the eight studs. So it's going to go on the top two of the red studs, like that. So now he's got a little bit of uh, a, a a grump on. And then we got the one by two cheese wedge and the one by two cheese wedge you're going to have it so that the sh the, the the wedge is sloping down so you've got this flat part on the top here underneath the underneath the teeth if i take the teeth off i can show you there you go there's your ridge there so you're going to have it sloping down towards his chest so pop that back in there and then 
we're going to put the 1x4 arch piece over the top. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like uh, Oscar from Sesame Street. If you had him, if he, if he was all in green, I, I bet you could probably locate these things in green, different tones of green, so you can give it a little bit of definition. Light green, not lime green. I don't know about lime green, maybe lime green. But yeah, so di two different greens, and I think it work really, really well. Then we're gonna take this uh, two by four uh, angled plate, and that's gonna go on his chest. And you're gonna have it so it's flaring downwards. So the narrow part is towards the cheese wedge there. <laughs> he really does look like Oscar. He's great. Right, and there's his legs. So we're gonna take the one by two plate with the ball and the new uh, one by two by two angled brick. And that is going to be, so the ball is gonna be facing on your right hand side and the slope is sloping towards you, okay? So if it's sloping away, you've got the wrong one. It'll be the other leg, other one, you know, in, in other words. So we're going to be doing the what looks like the right. No, that looks like the left leg, probably. So we're going to put a cheese wedge on top of that. And the cheese wedge is going to sit at a different angle to the slope. So if you were having it sloping with the slope, it would be like that. But you could just turn it to the right. So that it's going to slope into where the ball is. Then underneath, we're going to be putting a inverted one by two. Now the back end of the inverted one by two is going toward with the slope. Interesting. So you kind of got this really cool odd shape here. Um, so yeah, once again, you got the brick sloping here. You're going to have the flat end of the inverted um, on the same side of the slope and then on the flat end on the brick the big one You're gonna have the inverted sloping towards that. So that's the easiest way to remember it So then we're gonna attach uh, a 1x2 plate with a ball and a uh, Ball socket we got pop the ball socket. Actually, we got to put the plate on first got a 1x2 um, Tile that's gonna go across the two studs there and then we go pop this into place like that and you can have it either way i suppose but this way we're having it so the plate's facing the same as the um the top of the plate is going to be the same as the cheese wedge and yeah because this is going to be his like shin if you think that is a shin pad or something like that and then we go pop this ball into the socket here and that's his first leg so he's got quite long feet He's got quite quite long feet there, a bit like a, a clown. So we're going to do this second foot. So the ball is going to be on the left hand side this time and then we've got the slope. So the ball is on the left hand side this time. Then we've got the cheese wedge. The cheese wedge is going to be, if you have the ball facing you, the cheese wedge is going to face and slope towards you like so. And then keeping that ball in front of you, we're going to have the inverted one by two underneath. And that you can see it's inverted slope is to the left. OK, so you still got this this kind of design here. And then we're going to add the one by two plate with the ball and socket. Pop the one by two tile on top. Tile facing the. Uh, what well, looks like the it's going to be the toe isn't it the toe the rogue brick there and then we're going to pop that into his other hip like so so he's got kind of long legs for a mix all actually and then last but not least the la last two elements are going to go into the two holes here of the brick that we put in much much earlier and you go put the flame elements in the back these are so cool. And there you go. Now we have Zorch. I think he's like fast or something. Maybe they're wings. I don't know. I haven't seen Zorch in a Mixel uh, cartoon yet. So I haven't watched them all. 
Well, I've watched all the ones I've, uh, I've been able to download so far. So you can have him kind of pose quite cool. I mean, can't you can't twist his arms. That's a shame. You could have those on a ball joint. That would have been kind of cool. But I think the fact that you can move his legs around in a certain position that you could probably kneel or get a little bit of action. These are absolutely fantastic for stop motion videos. I think they would make absolutely cracking stop motion video. Let's get rid of the instructions for you. Have a closer look. There we go. There's Zorch. I like I like the handlebars as his it looks like eyebrows. That's what it looks like. It does look kind of like eyebrows or it could be hair. I like this grump. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of, uh, like I say, Oscar from uh, Sesame Street, the Grouch, the guy who sits in, uh, lives in the uh, the trash can, the rubbish bin. Uh, the fire elements piece coming out the back could be wings. Um, I'd like to think that they're kind of wings or that he's super fast at moving around or something like that. I don't know. Um, we lose the elements in that light there. Probably that light is too bright. Um, other than that, it's a very, very simple. It's a very simple build, isn't he? Um, great colours, as always. Great humour. Love the face. Absolutely love the face. Love the feet as well. This is the first time I've seen a mixel with this sort of design of of uh, legs. Um, the arms I've seen before, and uh, yeah, he looks. He looks really cool. He's not. He's another mixel without the opening mouth which becomes quite a trend later on in other uh, in later series or la later yeah later episodes later series of of the actual lego sets that will come out oh there you go folks zorch look at him i mean seriously doesn't he remind you of oscar you could do him green and he would look like oscar I, I swear he would look like us. He, he he would be so cool. Um, favorite part of the old uh, the old uh, set here is definitely the grump. I love the grump. <laughs> I love I love the grump. I do like the design of the feet as well, the claws, the toes, whatever they are, and the little shin guards or shin pads. Um, yeah, he's really cool. He's really cool. Very simple. Uh, very few parts as well. Probably the least amount of parts in Mixel sets so far. Bring that handlebar closer. You can... Yeah, definitely give him some eyebrows there because you can move it back a little bit just to lift it up. Um, but moving it right the way to his eyes and he looks like... That looks like eyebrows to me. Fantastic. What did you think, folks? Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Don't be shy, please. And drop a comment uh, whether you liked it or not. Try to be nice. Um, we've, we've, we've had some really cool comments and we've had some people actually saying uh, that they're trying to get hold of this, like via eBay and stuff like that. Where did I get it from? Well, we've had this, sadly, we've had it a long time. So didn't buy it from a website. Um, these are my friend's old Lego uh, sets that, um, I got my hands on for a bit uh, after he passed away so we we've had these all the time so sorry about that you can get parts for these easy you can get parts for anything Lego to be honest with you even the rarest stuff but then you start to pay uh, quite a bit but you can get it from um, Bricklink uh, you could go to the Rebrickable website and check out what you can build, all the parts you need. Then there's like a link to buy in the parts. Uh, so once you sorted out what parts you need, um, I could do a video on that and show you that. But I use Bricklink and I use Rebrickable uh, to figure out what I need. Bricklink to buy it all. And you could probably buy this for a couple of pounds. Maybe, but you you got to be lucky with trying to find uh, people with the right in the, in the stores that have all the parts as opposed to buying several orders, which can work out a little bit more then. But yeah, yeah, drop a comment, uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and check out all the other channels, uh, all the other um, playlists that we've got. 
um, and the uh, the link in the bottom there for uh, the Mixel playlist. And I will catch you in the next one. I'm Sean from Britain Bricks. Peace.